Good morning children. Today I am going to teach you chapter 4 and this is your chapter 4 part 2. I am going to start gender stereotyping. Boys and girls are playing sports. However, you may notice that many of the games we see on TV are played by men even at home. Sometimes boys are expected to play sports while girls are expected to help our at home. This often makes us believe that girls cannot do well in sports. It's our tradition that girls cannot do outside work. But now time changed. Girls and boys are doing all the work properly and equally. So we cannot difference them. However, this is wrong belief. Many women have excelled in the field of sports in recent years, many Indian sportswomen have won awards in international competitions. P.B. Sindhu is the first Indian woman to win an Olympic silver medal for badminton. She also became the first Indian to win an Asian Games silver medal. MC Mary Com, all of us know, she is a very good boxing player, is the only woman who has won a medal in each of the six World Boxing Championships. Anju Bobby George, an athlete, is the first Indian to win a medal in the World Championship in Athletics. Sanya Mirja is an ex-tennis player of international repute. Russell Thomas is the India's first woman skydiver. Sapna Burman won the gold medal in the Asian Games 2018 Hepathalon. Venus Fogart created history by becoming the first Indian woman wrestler to win gold medal at the Asia. So we see here that many Indian women achieve great name and fame in the world. Gender stereotyping refers to the practice of ascribing to an individual woman or man specific attributes, characteristics or roles by reason only of her or his membership in the social group of women or men. It gender stereo not affect only women, it's also affect men also. That means we cannot differentiate between men and women. They all are equal. In here are some pictures of Indian sportsmen. See, they also achieve great name and fame in the world in different fields of sports. And here are some Indian sports women. They also achieve the name and fame for the country for herself. National team. What is national team? There are many team sports which are played at the national and international levels. At the national level, teams are teams from all states of the country compete against one another. That means state level team participated at national level. But international level, all the team, all the team members are from the all state play together and they compete as a team for their country and the international teams from different nations party country india too has a national team is for football cricket hockey etc national teams are usually run managed and funded by the government members of the team are selected from the best players across the country similarly other countries also have their own national teams in various sports a national sports team, commonly known as national team or a national side, is a team that represents a nation rather than a particular club or region. In an international sport, the term is most commonly associated with team sports, for example, association football, curling or basketball. See here, there are some, some team players from football, hockey, cricket. They played for the nation by the world's most popular sporting event, this gives us an opportunity to watch the world's best sports person play. These competitions are held between different national teams and are usually held once in a four or five years. The FIFA World Cup is one such event. It is a championship to decide the best football team in the world. Teams from different nations are divided in groups. Each team plays against all the teams listed in, the, in its group. 
Finally, the winners from each group compete against one another to decide the best team. Similarly, the Cricket World Cup is held every four years to decide the best team in the world. While these are championships for specific sports, the, Olymp the Olympic is the largest sporting event in the world, which includes a number of different sports such as athletics, archery, and shooting. It has both individuals and team competing against one another. The Olympics are held every four years and hosted by different countries each time. Almost every nation in the world participated in the, this event. A champion is a winner or someone who is really good at something. If you are a champion chess player, you are a superstar. When crowd sing queens, we are the champion. At football games, they are celebrating the fact that their team won. Champion comes from the Latin word campionum from gladiator fighter rar. See the picture. Here are the some photos of the individual and team champions. Now, next topic is local and traditional game. There are many games in India which are played at the local level. Local sports are played traditionally in different parts of the country. India has a rich tradition in games. Some of the many traditional games that developed in India are Chopat, Kili Danda, Ochnich, Stapu, Koko, Kabaddi, Langritang, and many more. A few of these games are played even now. For example, Vallam Kali or the Snake Boat Race is a famous boat race that takes place during the festival of Unam in Kerala. There are many such local games. However, unlike Vallam Kali, many of them are no longer popular. Local games are a forthcoming category of digital games that bring players together in real world places. In some cases, that means digital substitute for analog games. In others, it's four square of flash mobs combined with gameplay. See here, some children are playing local games. Traditional game. Traditional games are kinds of pre dial play during the traditional holidays or the national calendar holidays, which are now held as ethnoculture festivals and competitions. Participants of traditional games tend to use traditional costumes or some of their elements, cap, pants, hair, beard, shoes. Here, some traditional games are going, but these games held on holidays according to national calendar. Now, I am going to give some exercises related to chapter 4. Here are some hard words you will write in your notebook. Important points and new words already in your textbook you will write down from textbook. Thank you.